Good evening, good afternoon, and salutations, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bezil Patrick Cannon, your esports community caster, and I am giving you another practice cast. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, these casts are basically meant to help myself improve as a community caster and as an esports caster, as well as improve my knowledge on the game and try and t kind of improve my skills on making sure that uh, I'm not actually giving you the false information because it is really hard to see what's going on in these games so I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it very much indeed sorry about that I had to sneeze I didn't think you guys would want to hear me sneeze <laughs> but uh, I've been I've done three so far tonight and it's really fun to kind of get back into the swing of things um, as I said in my the last cast soon. I, uh, I definitely have been uh, kind of off the casting grid a little bit just because of my audio equipment and uh, a couple other things I had to take care of. So we're going to see, see uh, team, strategy. we're going to call them team P uh, PZ versus team, uh, what is this, Hold JBUO, so Jubo. And let's take a look at this, uh, this split really quickly here. Uh, we are seeing a uh, another standard uh, thief go into the hench here where he's going to actually try and contest this. Um, we are going to see another thief go for the, the chieftain, chieftain and hiccups at the worst possible time. And uh, he might actually try and steal this. Let's, let's see if he can actually steal it. He's not going to be able to steal it there, unfortunately. And he's actually going to go towards the hench here. No, Jumper Axe is actually going to follow back up to the keep here. And we are seeing t uh, three members of the uh, JBO Jubo come up into the uh, left side of the keep here but they're actually going to get caught out of position here from the red team kind of a huge uh, fight here and not on the point unfortunately and that is going to be a huge loss for the blue team unfortunately not what they wanted it is going in favor of the red team at the moment we are seeing the blue team come up and try and really make some uh, some good use of their hair we are seeing um Maca gosh he's Names are so hard to pronounce. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. I'm going to call him Marcy because that's what I'm going to call him. It just makes it easier for me. <laughs> Marcy doing a good job at using that short bow to really kind of deal some damage. Unfortunately, he is tormented, so he's not going to be able to move, and he is going to go down. He might be able to rally himself up, though. Uh, not entirely sure. We are seeing the Mesmer portal being dropped as well. Not sure if they're going to use that as an escape here, but we are seeing uh, one member of the red team go down and one member of the uh, red team actually being rallied here. Ostrich Eggs taking a ton of damage from that Dragon's Tooth. He unfortunately does get stomped there, but we are going to see Madman uh, try and contest this point here. He is an engineer. He is using the rifle, and this is this is a, a different build. I'm, I'm really enjoying seeing all these really new builds here. He unfortunately is going to get stomped and sat on by a cow. Oh my gosh, terrible death. I would not want to die that way. I don't think anyone would actually do that. Like the ah, ah, terrible death. But unfortunately, we are going to see the henge actually go towards the uh, contested point as well as the keep. Blue keep should go the for the uh, the blue team. Blue team does take the keep there, and this is going to be trying to do one of those uh, those uh, infamous uh, ganks here, invisible here. Uh, I don't know if the red team actually knows Feel that the they are here, but uh, Java Cute is really trying to uh, deal some damage to this uh, this blue team side here. Not going to be able to right now. He uh, does. Uh, is dealt a lot of damage, unfortunately. He does have the signet that allows him to heal every time he casts a spell. But when he gets down really, really low, um, and if he casts that, that's going to be really hard for him to kind of stay stay alive, unfortunately. And he is actually going to try and keep the point uh, in favor of the red team. So this allows him to kind of play a little bit more defensively. We did just see him pop the lightning here. Dragon's Tooth being... Uh, um, casted once again. He is going to switch over to that Earth uh, attunement here. He what did uh, kind of thought about casting Churn Earth, but unfortunately he's not going to. Lots of low members there uh, for both teams. Not right now. Unfortunately, we are going to see um, Purebe. I believe that's how you say the name. Yeah, we are going to see Purebe actually go down. He is uh, actually being left alone. He might actually be able to rally himself there. I'm not sure why he's going to heal there. Um, he's he's letting himself die there. He really should try and get up. Um, he, I think he's kind of wasting time to let that tick off there so kind of a poor choice by him but uh we are going to see uh jumper axe try and go towards the mine here and unfortunately we are going to uh see the mine being uh the taken here by returned. marcy and i'm going to try and pronounce his name a little bit better here because Spotty marcy is not his cor correct name um yeah there's no way i can pronounce that i'm sorry yeah ken kenneth manic why are you not here to tell me how I am supposed to pronounce names. You you are you are not helping me. But uh, we do see Jumper X actually does. Um, 
I believe he rallied? I'm not sure. My screen kind of froze for a second. I'm not sure if that's going to be in the VOD. But uh, my screen kind of froze. Jumper X was there, and then well, he wasn't there. But uh, huge AoE damage there from um, Mar uh, Mercilalix. Mercil Mercilalix. Sure, Mercilalix. That sounds great. I, I honestly have no idea. Unfortunately, he is going to go down here. Jumper X is going to be able to rally once again. He is going to use um, that initiator strike to really confuse and kind of be uh, kind of a pest there, unfortunately. Ostrich Eggs, unfortunately, taking a ton of damage here from the Elementalist, but unfortunately, the Elementalist does go down. Um, he does pop his mist form, and I'm not sure if he's going to be able to survive this. No, the stomp does go off. So the Did point is going that? to go 2-2 for the red team. Capture point. Now, keep in mind that both of the Svanir and the Chieftain are still up. So we are going to see the Henge once again being contested, try and, tr really try and, and get that contested point. But unfortunately, member of the red team is going to go down tr while trying to contest that Henge there. And uh, right now, it looks just from point-wise that red team does have a little bit more control over what is going on in the, the map area of things. But as I say that, we are seeing two members from the blue team come up and try and uh, fight like in the middle here. Team really, both teams should really point. be uh, trying to focus on fighting on points and uh, less fighting in the middle of the map here. This is really not the best area to fight because it's such an open space and there's really not a lot of uh, good areas for the teams to, to try and uh, pull those kind of sneaky maneuvers here. We are seeing a very, very heavy engagement here on the keep. Unfortunately, um, control almost goes down almost instantly to that burst there. Unfortunately, he does get stomped there as well. Uh, a ton of uh, spells being casted here. Churn Earth was about to finish there, but unfortunately, he does get knocked back there by a member of the red team there. Uh, Ice Elemental is almost down. Ice Elemental does go down here. Uh, the Did you see that? Necromancer red is using his plague, boy. which is a very, very interesting pickup for a spell for a Necromancer. Normally, Just you see the flesh golems. Blue flesh golems, I feel, is a little bit point. more uh, intuitive to uh, to really try and make sure that um, you, you you get some good stuns and Did some good stability. So Red team got a uh, right now, it's still anyone's game. Right now, we are seeing, um, unfortunately, uh, Purebra uh, kind of getting a lot of damage there. He's going to dodge out of there. He's he's. He really should be trying to fight on that point there, really trying to contest it, really trying to make sure that uh, it does not go in favor of the red team. But unfortunately, the red team is going to uh, take in favor, and they're going to uh, cap two more points. And uh, they are in contested once again here. Unfortunately, you know, the, the Henge, again, just plays a super crucial role in really trying to make sure that uh, you have that close point. That close point is just super, super important here. And we are saying Java, Java Cute and Saurus really trying to go at it here we do we, it's actually kind of funny um so java actually has a rock dog and an elemental out and this is going to be really really hard for saurus to really try and do anything you can see he's uh, doing very very low health there he does get that knockback there so he is going to be able to heal himself up give him time to really summon that that ice elemental is going to give him some hp there as well but unfortunately java just in such com more complete control right now um dealing just such a, a lot better job at i think the damage uh, now the difference is um I believe they are both dagger dagger so the the really difference is is just kind of who can land the 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 uh, spells the quickest and obviously java really kind of came out on top there we are seeing uh saurus actually come out again once here nice dodge there onto that that flame path there very very nice dodge and unfortunately he gets hit by it by himself there uh both attuning to earth right away really trying to get that knock back down uh both attuning to water right away uh, this is almost a mirror matchup, but that burst coming out from um, Saurus and his other teammate is going to force, unfortunately, Java to go down, and Purebra is going to go down as well. But we are going to see Java really trying to stay on that point and trying to keep that contested here. Unfortunately, Dragon's Tooth does, does go down as well. Shadow Refuge is going to be popped, really trying to get that res there. Nice play by Jumper, but unfortunately... Um, not not going to happen as well so uh, i believe this is going to go into favor of the blue team once again so they're going to get a little bit more control of this game keep is being contested now and uh, we are going to see uh, the game kind of take a little bit more change but unfortunately keep is getting contested once again like we are that. seeing um mercy going to try point. and get <laughs> into the chieftain but just taking a ton of damage here unfortunately getting that knockdown really try and really trying to kill him the chieftain is about half health here so is mercy taking a ton of damage from those axes there unfortunately and uh, i'm not sure uh, he should be able to get him down no problem chieftain is almost dead here no one is uh, there to steal it jumper x looks like he's going to be going to the way of the henge once again so they're going to have to be careful about about that contesting uh keep though 
lots of lots of damage being uh, hauled onto that keep point there. We are going to see some uh, some pretty good engagement here at the keep once again. A uh, lot of people going down and Did a lot of people get, trying to get rallied here. Unfortunately, Ostrich Eggs um, is uh, kind of in a, a little bit of trouble here. Lots of um, um, spells being casted, and good. it's a little bit harder to kind of tell what's going on here. Unfortunately, we are going to see another person get rallied here, so that's actually really, really good. Going to pop that heal. He does have his shouts, and he does have his sanctuary um, sanctuary available. He is going to use both of them, and he is going to be able to uh, get out. And uh, actually, he, he, he did just try and res Pure Bra, but unfortunately, he's going to be pushed back out of that point there. Jumper Axe is going to try and uh, see if he can do some damage there, but unfortunately, J Jumper Axe is very, very low, and he's he's going to Shadow Refuge himself and uh, try and get uh, try and get rallied. He, his teammate does rally him. Very, very nice job there by the red team getting that Jumper Axe to be rallied. Um, Jumper Axe playing a pretty crucial role here at keeping that, uh, that Henge completely contested. We are seeing uh, the keep once again being uh, going in favor of that red team. And unfortunately, Control uh, doing the best he can to really try and contest, but I am Arcadis right now doing a very, very good job as well at countering um, his contesting. He's, he is actually going to be able to push him off there. He does use that Mobilize. Unfortunately, Control does dodge that, um, but he is going to get feared as well, and he's going to pop um, one of his defensive spells and really try and uh, be, be as annoying as possible, but unfortunately, it's not going to be um, anything that uh, is going to be uh, really as effective as it would have been. And that is going to be another game going towards the red team. I believe that is three in a row we've seen the red uh, red team actually win. And that's been three different teams, in fact. So congratulations to the red team.